Greetings, Earthlings. Today I'm back with a review of another condenser microphone from Rode. Ugh! Milo! So today we're looking at this guy, which is the Rode NT1000. If you are interested in picking this microphone up, it will set you back around $330. Like always, I'll throw some links down below. And for this review, I have the microphone connected directly to the 18i 22nd gen with the input gain set just at about one o'clock. I will of course not do any kind of post processing, but I may boost it in post. So check the doobly doo to see what I diddly did. And now let's talk about what comes in the box, but I already yeeted that thing like it was a Linity's cat. First off, you will get a zippered storage bag. You will of course get the microphone, a microphone mount, which does come with a 5 8 to 3 8 inch microphone stand adapter, documentation, a 10 year warranty, and a sticker. Sorry. Next up, as far as I I think I cut my mouth <laughs> with the sticker. This is ridiculous. The build quality feels good. It's a nice feeling microphone, all right? It's got an all metal body, a metal mesh grill, which actually feels sturdier than I was expecting. There are no buttons on this thing. It is a bare bones microphone, but it is rather heavy, coming in at 682 grams. Then, as far as the specs, this thing has a cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 20 hertz up to 20 kilohertz, a sensitivity of around negative 36 decibels, a max SPL of 140 dB, a self noise of only 6 dBA, an impedance of 100 ohms, and a phantom power requirement of plus 48 volts. Now I'm spinning around the NT1000 to show you what the off-axis rejection and coloration is. We will continue around the microphone to 180 degrees, show you what it sounds like from the rear, continuing around the microphone to the second 90 degree angle, and then we will rotate and end at the front. And now let's see how well the provided mount does at rejecting bumps of the desk and bumps of the boom arm. Of course, we will also test the plosive rejection of this thing, so please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Now I'm right on top of the microphone to show you the proximity effect on this thing. About three inches off of the microphone with the mic pointed at the corner of my mouth, and this is how the audio sounds. About one foot away from the microphone, two feet away from the microphone, and four feet away from the microphone. I still have glue in my mouth. This is disgusting. And now I am typing on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. And I didn't forget about you elite gamers because right now I'm typing on the DAWs keys. Now I want to do a very quick comparison between the NT1000 and the Rode NT1A because when you look at the frequency response graphs, they are very similar with a few minor differences, so I want to see how they compare. Right now, I'm speaking into the Rode NT1000 about three inches off of the microphone, and this is how the audio sounds. And now I'm speaking into the Rode NT1A at the exact same distance with the exact same gain settings, and this is how the audio compares. <laughs>
Let's test the road and see how it sounds. Will it sound good? Only time will tell. I hate this song. <laughs> this is the worst one I've done yet. I literally think this is trash. All right, now although this microphone was initially released in the early 2000s, I think that it still holds up pretty well. And first up in terms of pros is the self noise of 6 dBA, which is just an insanely low measurement and you could really not ask for much better. There are a few microphones that are better, but with a self noise of 6 dBA, you're not going to hear a complaint from anybody. And on top of that, the microphone has a very open and airy and somewhat natural sound due to the boost around 12 kilohertz. And then in terms of cons, the microphone didn't do a very good job at background noise rejection. So if you're going to be banging on a keyboard, it may not be your best bet. And secondly, the stickers that come with it are not edible. What's that about? And now as far as my overall thoughts on the electric guitar, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, mainly because in the lower frequencies, it sounded a little bit woofy, for lack of a better word. It was just woofing, a little bit loose, a little bit muddy, a little bit sludgy. Really wasn't a fan of it on the electric guitar. Then on the acoustic guitar, it has a very shimmery and open sound due to the boost around 12 kilohertz in the air frequencies, and it also has a full body. So on the acoustic, I thought it was very usable. Then for singing, I think this microphone offers a somewhat transparent sound with a little bit of focus in the upper frequencies, but at the same time, I also started to hear a little bit of sizzle in those upper frequencies, but that was very, very slight. And lastly, for spoken word, this microphone gives you a very crisp and detailed top end and also a punchy and tame low end, yielding a very balanced sound. But I would argue that this microphone is on the verge, not quite there, but on the verge of being a little bit too crisp in the higher frequencies. And finally, would I recommend this microphone? Well, it kind of depends. If you're a big fan of the Rode NT1A, but you think it is a little bit too bright or the lows and low mids are a little bit too forward, then absolutely, I would recommend the NT1000. To my ears, the NT1000 just offers a more subtle and smoother tone when we compared it to the NT1A. So if you're looking for a somewhat bright microphone with a relatively balanced sound with a crazy low noise floor of 6 dBA, then absolutely I would recommend the NT1000. All right, that is going to do it for today. So if you found this video fun, interesting, or helpful, Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give me a big old thumbs down. If you want more videos, you can subscribe by clicking that logo down beneath me. And you could also become one of these awesome people over here by becoming a $5 member of this channel. If you want to hang out in the Discord server, I'll throw a link in the description. And I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Bye.